bigotry comes in all forms, in a form that people have been speaking against, and rightfully speaking against, is the type of bigotry that we've been seeing at some of these college campuses. We've also seen a lot on social media, we see on YouTube, and that's when people will basically declare that straight white cisgender males are, like, awful. Or they'll say, oh, well, you're bigoted just by being that demographic. Okay, no, I'm sorry, that's bigotry. To make that statement is bigotry. The concept of no platforming is a valid one if it actually does what it, it, it says it's supposed to be doing. And that's to be not giving bigotry a platform. A number of excuses have been made over recent years to stop people from having a platform because, well, you're not oppressed enough. Well, unfortunately, the reality of when people aren't given a platform for this sort of thing is because a lot of those people think that, um, actually think that, well, if you're straight, white, cisgender male, uh, uh, you're going to be bigoted automatically and we don't want to give you a platform. Okay. People with that kind of attitude shouldn't have a platform. To me, at any of these colleges, if someone goes up on stage and starts railing against the straight, white, cisgender male demographic, they need to be kicked off the stage. They need to be told, I'm sorry, uh, you know, we don't accept bigotry uh, on, on a public platform like this. It shouldn't matter what demographic it is. You're not, you shouldn't be pushing forth this kind of bigotry. Now, what I'm concerned about, and, and like I've I've seen in some comments on uh, uh, on on some other people's videos uh, uh, towards me, but not directly to me, but you know, talking about me, saying that well, I'm uh, suggesting that I'm I'm scared of death camps, gay death camps. It's like no, no, no. That's that has nothing to do with what what any of my fears. My fears are that. If we're, if we're allowing bigotry to just be said, to just be stated aloud, eventually it will lead to violence. And that violence could be from those who are bigoted, or it could be from those who have bigoted things said against them. Either way, if we allow bigotry to just be, oh, f f just say as many bigoted things publicly to anyone you want, let's tr let's be mean to each other. Okay, if we start allowing for that, we are going to see violence increase. Either again, either from the side that's saying the bigoted things, or from the side that is having the bigoted things said to them. Now, this sort of thing can be seen. Examples of this sort of thing can be seen at these colleges. Look at the people who are getting uh, beat up. You know, someone comes by saying, well, you know, you're, you're treating straight white cisgender males like shit just for being straight white cisgender males. And violence is brought against them for stating that. Just for stating, hey, you're being bigoted, you know, basically is what it boils down to. Um, this sort of thing is happening. There are people, there are white people who are getting beat up by black people because those black people think, well, the white people are, are bigoted, so we need to step in before they do something bigoted. And it's just like, uh, no, 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 no. What you've just done is bigoted. What you've just done is, is committed acts of violence towards a group of people based on your bigotry. It doesn't matter what direction the bigotry goes. Bigotry is bigotry. And we need to speak against it. Um, so, you know, maybe I haven't been specific enough in some of my videos uh, recently of saying, hey, no, we need to also speak against some of the bigotry of the left. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe I haven't been saying that that much because I've, I have had fears of what could be what could be waged uh, by bigots 
against the LGBT community. Because I'm not really seeing this thing just suddenly coming to an end. I'm seeing this thing, this sort of problem becoming a lot worse before it gets better. And if I'm going to have to be concerned about the potential of the future of, of gay bashing, I want to be able to protect myself. And let me also state this, you know, I'm not going to just go out and get a gun without without proper training. Um, just no. I, I want to really, really know how to use it. I want to know the safety. I even want to study some philosophies around owning a gun so I don't get some sort of messed up attitude out of owning one. Because that's possible. That's quite possible. There are some people who get this added, well, I have a gun, I can do anything now. You know, I don't want to get stuck in that kind of thing. So, you know, but I do want to be able to defend myself if I am physically attacked. So, but bigotry on any side needs to be spoken against. And I guess that's all I have to say.